The first thing to learn about L systems is where it comes from. It's kind of unique in the sense that it's not like Python, it's not like Vex or C++. It's its own sort of way, its own language of describing how things grow over time. And originally this was all invented by a man named Aristide Lindenmeyer. And that's where the word L system comes from. L stands for his last name, Lindenmeyer. So really this is the Lindenmeyer system. And the cool thing is that he originally invented the L system to describe the way that plants naturally grow. He was a biologist. He was a botanist out in Hungary in the 1960s and 70s. And what he found is that through studying the different genetic commands that plants have, so a gene might tell a plant to grow left or to grow right or to go straight, he was able to replicate these commands through a series of characters which eventually became this L system. So, as an example to that, the character, which is a capital F, in the L system means to move forward, or a plus sign means to turn right, or a minus to turn left. And again, through these different characters, that's how things are described to grow. Now, eventually, he came up with his book, The Algorithmic Beauty of Plants. And this is what details all of his studies. So if you want to really get into this stuff and you want to learn uh, everything that he was thinking about, go ahead and check out this book. You can actually find it for free online. Just type in The Algorithmic Beauty of Plants in Google, and it'll be the first result as a PDF right here. But anyway... Linden Meyer, he created this really cool system, and that's what we're talking about whenever we're creating these procedural trees. Now, in the world of programming, these symbols, which again represent movement, what, the way that something moves over time, this is commonly referred to as turtle commands. And when I say turtle, I literally mean a turtle. The reason why is because a very common way that kids get taught about programming is through a game where you have to tell the turtle to move left, right, or straight, whatever, through code. And that is very similar to what we're doing in an L system. We're just telling the plant if it should go straight, left, right, twist, all that kind of stuff. So now whenever you open up the Houdini docs and you see this thing called turtle command, it's no longer confusing of what that's talking about. So I just thought I'd clarify that right away, uh, because I'm sure that's confusing unless you know. But anyway, we have these things called turtle commands. It describes movement. And let's try a few for example. We have F, which means move forward one step. So you would create a line like so. And I'm going to create these couple of dots right here. The plus sign means turn right. So the direction would go this way. We have another F saying to now grow one step. We have a minus sign saying to turn this way. And then we have another F saying to grow. So that's an example of how this sort of thing might work. And this is a very simple expression, but we're going to start with something simple so that we can make it complicated over time. Now, one of the cool things is that you can also add specific instructional commands for each one of these characters. So we have F, which means move forward, but I can also tell F to do other specific things. You'll notice that in the help documentation, we have this F, and then we have a parentheses, lowercase l, w, s, d. And all of these different symbols right here represent different arguments that you can pass through which control the specifics of that movement. If I was to write out this F with all the different arguments, it would look something like this. So we have F, which means move forward. Our first argument relates to the distance, which is L. So that's what this number is talking about right there. It's 0 0.2. This represents the width of what will eventually be the tube that is our plant stock, right? We have this four, which is going to represent the cross sections. And then we have eight, which is the divisions. So this lines up with L, W, S, and D. And that's how that whole thing works. 
Let's go ahead and try this inside of Houdini now to see what that gives us. So inside of Houdini, we now have this L system node. I'm going to set the generations to one for a minute. And let's head over to the rules over here where we can type in our rule. I'm going to talk about this premise and what these rules mean here in a minute. But let's just start off with the F. And then we will say that we want this to be one meter. We will say 0.25, which will represent the diameter of the tube eventually. We'll say four and then eight. And if I go ahead and do that, at first we only have a line. And that's because right now in our L system, if I go to geometry, we've told the type here to be a skeleton, which means don't actually make geometry, but just make some lines. If I go ahead and turn this now to a tube, look at that. We now have an actual piece of geometry. And all of that relates to what we have here. So if I want to make this, let's say, two meters, I can go like that, and now we're at two meters. Or let's say we want to change the diameter of this. We can say, instead of 0.25, we can say 0.5. And what's cool is that because we are able to be specific about each one of these movements, what I can do over time is I can do something like this. So I'm going to say Control C to copy, paste, and I can make a different instance of F where I change these parameters. So I could say one, and maybe this time we'll make the diameter smaller. So we'll say 0.25. And as you can see, now it's able to interpolate for that specific command or that specific argument right here, which is F. Now, the cool thing is that most of these commands that Lindenmeyer made up have these special arguments that you can pass through. And when it, whenever we go to the uh, help documentation, it's going to tell you what the possible arguments are. Just to give another example of how this all works, let's go ahead and check out this expression right here. This time, we're going to pass an argument through the plus sign. So if we go back to Houdini. What we could say is we could say f plus, and we're going to rotate by 50 degrees. So 50 degrees, and then we're going to move forward three times. And there we go. We go up, we rotate 50 degrees. The cool thing is that it interpolates everything nicely, so it's not like a, a harsh rotation or anything like that. And there we go. That's how we can change the direction. Now, if you leave this plus at its default, what's going to happen is that this whole L system is going to refer to a channel that exists globally. So if I go here to the values section, we have this angle. And this angle relates to the default value whenever we turn left and right. So in this case, if I put minus minus F like this, that's going to apply to both the plus and the minus whenever we change that angle. And as a matter of fact, with all of these commands, if you don't specify something specifically, a lot of the times it's, it's just going to follow whatever values are under this values tab. So that's what that's all about. In the next lesson, let's continue on by seeing how we can apply rules and create geometry over time.